Hey guys. Uh, I know it's been a while and I do apologize. Um, I did a couple of finds videos the other day, well one video the other day, and just didn't, haven't had a chance to show you guys the rest of them. Um, still working on this back room, haven't really got that much done yet, but it's a work in progress. Um, I'm going to take Raymond's and Tink's advice on the going with the uh, uh, the art and the music memorabilia stuff like that and I'm gonna go that route but um, gotta do this quick because they only gave me 10 minutes they took away the over no 15 minutes they took away my over 15 minutes because of that violation so uh, yeah anyway all right, first up, I've got the, I'm going to do soundtracks first. Um, I've got the uh, Eddie and the Cruisers soundtrack that I put a couple of tracks up on already. Um, excellent album. It was an excellent movie. Um, the only problem is the place where I got this from, he had a couple more po or copies of it. And I'm going to go back and snag another copy simply because, um, I mean, not that there's anything wrong with this, because it's, it's, you know, again, very clean, it's in great shape, but it has a ton of splatter in it, which, you know, like on the high ends, and when you get that really annoying sound, but, um, so yeah, I'm going to go snag another copy of that and see if I can get that figured out. Um... <clears throat> Sweet Dreams, the Patsy Klein story, excellent, excellent, it was a good movie, um, whoever had this copy, this is actually supposed to be an off-white, and you can tell, I don't know if you can see it in the thing or not, see how yellow it is, my god, they must have had their ashtray like right next to it, but uh, it's in great shape, it's a really in great shape. And again, a really, really good movie. They, you know, there was a ton of um, really good tracks. You know, The San Antonio Rose, Seven Lonely Days, Your Cheating Heart, Love Sick Blues, just fall. All right, next, do not laugh. Um, the jacket's not that great, but yeah, had to do it. Had to do it. The vinyl itself is new. It is just like brand new. Again, good movie. I know guys don't laugh. Um, the Big Chill, which is another good movie and has a ton of good stuff on it, which I'm sure a few you ha must have this. You know, I Second That Emotion, A Whiter Shade of Pale, Tell Him, Joy to the World, the Tracks of My Tears, Good Lovin', I mean, it is phenomenal stuff on this album. Okay. Then I found the, um, which I've been looking for for a while, and I found it, in awesome shape, the We Are The World album. Uh, I did not remember it being a gatefold, with every, you know, with all the entertainers that participated. But, um, yeah, I, I did, they happened to have this sitting there. It was actually sitting on top of a box that they had in there. And I'm going to have to take you guys, I'll take the flip cam one day, take you guys in to this storage right up the street. Tons of stuff. Tink, you would have, you and Raymond would have a field day in there. Ah, uh, Eagles, their greatest hits. Again, I'm sure a lot of you have this. Excellent album. The vinyl, again, in excellent shape. With sleeve. Mike, sleeves. <laughs> uh, Alabama Mountain Music. It has to be one of my all-time favorite albums, especially by them. Um, I don't know. I just, I've got this thing with this album. I've had it on CD. I've had it on cassette. Even when I was a kid, I had it on 8-track. And then I lost the album that I originally had, so they had that. Okay, I put a couple of tracks up on this, off the 8-track that I played through the uh, Silvertone 
but they had it they had it in there the Barbara Mandrell Live album. Um, really, really okay. Really, really nice album. Phenomenal entertainer. I love her. She was so good. I I don't know why she retired. Okay, again, do not laugh. Uh, Sean Cassidy, to do run run. Um, in brand new condition. This thing is amazing. Even has the original, well, the original sleeve, but it also has, where did it go? I know it's in here, but it has the original, um, his poster that, you know, they put in back then. This came out in 77. Again, in fantastic shape. I don't know how this thing survived in there all, all these years, because I'm sure it was a younger person that had originally bought the uh, the album. But uh, again, great album. Well, in great shape. All right, these last three here, um, I did a little bit of a trade with Mike. Um, oh God, what's his screen? His uh, username. Mike in, I'm drawing a blank, I'm sorry Mike, anyway, I'm sure, you, you guys probably know who I'm talking about, anyway, he sent, I felt bad, I sent him 145, um, he wanted a CCR 45, and, <coughs> excuse me, I ended up getting from him the, uh, Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road, Elton John, um, nice shape and an excellent, excellent album, you know, and I love the way this thing, you know, folds out, it's a, basically, a three-way fold, um, and the artwork, believe it or not, the artwork in here is so cool, that I'm actually thinking of this one, it's a tattoo, but using, obviously, different wording, but it would be, like, such a cool tattoo. I think I'm going to try to figure out what I want to have put in it and check into that. But there was, he sent that. He also sent um, the Elton John Ice on Fire album. Uh, excellent album. It has uh, This Town, Cry to Heaven. Soul Glove, Nikita, which is probably was the hit for the album at the time. But, um, again, excellent, excellent album. Still sealed. It's not been opened yet. And I'm not going to, I don't plan on opening because I do have it, um, the 45 of Nikita somewhere. But then again, I might because there's a couple things I do want to hear on here. But, um, then he sent the Paul Simon, Still Crazy After All These Years. Again, another fantastic album. I have listened to this, Mike. I have played this over and over and over. Um, and I don't know if you had cleaned these or what. But if you had, or if that's not the one, maybe it was, had to be the other Elton John. Anyway, I don't know if you'd cleaned them. But there is a sheen on there. You know, if you can't, let me know what you're cleaning them with, because, I don't know, it's great. They just look, like, even better than new. But, uh, again, Mike, thank you. I love these. Thank you so much. Um, okay. A little bit of update on what's been going on. One thing that's happened is I had to get another computer. Um, my old computer had got to where it was freezing up and it just did not, yeah, it was getting on my nerves. Plus, it's like five or six years old. Not enough memory. Um, I did update the camera, which is the one I'm using now, which I still have to work with the lighting somewhat. But I did get a decent HD camera with a remote. I like that. Um... I got it in a kit, it came with a tripod, it came with these different lenses and all this stuff. But the main thing it came with, is what I really wanted it for, was it came with an input so that I could actually, rather than plugging the um, stereo into the computer, which I did get a new computer, but plugging it directly into the camera. 
and I haven't tried that yet, but I'm going to try that. Then my old um, aunt started acting a little funny, the sharp. So I went to a uh, rummage sale at a church down the road a few months back and found a JVC amp, which I'll have to, um, if you're not, you know, obviously he's not watching, but it looks just like the one Chris Van Gel has. It's the JVC, the amp, it lights up the orange in the front or whatever. Um, but I was having a little bit of issues because of some of the test videos that I put up. It was, when you plug it in, the sound quality has a 7 band equalizer on it, and you can push the button on it, and it actually, you can adjust the sound that's going into the computer. That's what that was about, but I think I got that straightened out. Um, oh God, what else? But yeah, between the computer messing up on me, then the amp started messing up on me. So I replaced the computer, replaced the amp, got a better camera. Um, now all I need is more vinyl. I'm thinking on getting another turntable probably in about a month or so. I, I want to try the uh, the Audio Technica PL. I want to say PL120. It's a USB turntable, but it plays 78s. And so I want to get definitely try and get that and see if that works out a little bit. I mean, there's really nothing wrong with mine. I do have to get a better cartridge for it, but you know, for now it's good. But um, but yeah, that's about it. I'm going to continue working in here. Again, I'm going to take Raymond T's and Tink's advice on stuff to put on these walls because they're, they're bare. But, um, so I will get that done. And, what is this kid doing? I can't, you know, school. They should be in school. I don't know. But anyway, um, that's it. I will get some more stuff up here in the next few days. Um, I'm going to probably go to the store again either tomorrow, what's today, Wednesday? Tomorrow or Friday I'll go over there and I'll take my little flip camera in and see if she'll let me show you the store because there is boxes. You know, this is the one that I told you this guy had all those 45s. It's the same store and I think he let his daughter take it over. But uh, there's it's boxes and boxes. And it If you want it, they probably got it. But... Um, yeah, it's a ton of stuff, and I'll show you that. But, um, alright, I don't know where my time is. And it doesn't tell me on the, uh, the, um, the camera. That's nice. Wow. Okay, alright, I will get jet for now, and I will talk with you all later. Have a great day, be safe, and that's it. Alright, guys, bye.